Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and we are in Pathfinder Solutions series in the topic of Newton's Laws of Motion. That is a second chapter in that book and check your understanding problem number 22. It's a nice little problem wherein you're not just tested upon how you visualize the three dimensional aspect of the question, but also uh, in depth analysis of uh, how to use the approximations or Maybe I should say how not to use approximations for future problems. Okay, so let's move on to the formal wording of the question. So here it is. A rod of mass M and length capital L is suspended from the ceiling with the help of two light inextensible cords, very important, inextensible cords, each of length small l so that the rod is horizontal. Okay, right. So this rod is horizontal. These are the two inextensible cords. The rod is given an angular velocity omega about its central vertical axis. So this is a vertical plane. So there is an acceleration due to gravity in the downward direction. Find the increment in the tensile force in the cord immediately after the rod is given angular velocity. Okay, so these are the important words in that question that you need to Take down. Okay, so in case you want to give it a try, so please make sure you pause the video and give it a try for five to ten minutes and do come back for the concepts and solutions that would be uh, taken up after this. Okay, so the important points that we need to think in this particular problem before going ahead is they are in extensible cords and this is all in vertical plane. So maybe author of the question forgot to give that there is a G. So G is important for this question. And um, also he's asking for your calculations immediately after the rod is given angular velocity. So these are the important things. So let's move ahead for the solution of the question. So again, lot of things on the board. So please do follow my lead. Don't look everywhere on the screen. So we'll go step by step in a slow manner, convince ourselves what we are writing for that particular solution to be perfectly all right. Okay. So we'll first concentrate on the front on view of that situation. Imagine that omega is given for dt seconds. dt is a very small duration of time. And the rod, this particular rod, this uh, blue color thing, capital L represents the rod, is twisted in the horizontal plane by an angle d theta but there is a small problem right point a wants to come out of the screen towards you and point b wants to go into the plane staying in the horizontal plane but the length of the string is fixed right so capital a actually has to move up and out of the plane so you have to imagine a prime is the new position of capital A, which has two displacements. One is towards you in a horizontal plane and above up in the vertical plane uh, in the uh, in the direction that is to um, in the vertical plane because the thing is the length of the uh, string is fixed, right? So you cannot have this capital A only coming out of the plane. Okay. Same thing with capital B. The B is supposed to become B prime by having two displacements. One is into the board. Another one is vertically upwards. So we expect this entire rod, if it has to stay horizontal, then each and every point of this rod uh, will have a vertically upward displacement. So even center of mass moves up by the same Y displacement as compared to A prime and B prime. Now this dotted line therefore is not going to be uh, in the same horizontal plane as this capital L, that is for sure. So if I want to measure the angle between this uh, old position of the rod and the new position of the rod, then I have to project this dotted line onto this rod and draw something like this. Okay, so this is the projection. Now if uh, the rod has rotated about its midpoint, I am assuming the angle of rotation in small dt seconds is d theta. Therefore the arc of this displacement of this capital A, arc of displacement of this capital A, I can write as L by 2 d theta. This is a horizontal displacement. Now, similarly, I can watch this particular system, look carefully, okay? Imagine this is the observer who is watching from side and draws a side view for this. In this side view, this cap entire capital A B looks like a point for him, okay? Right, he will be watching this yellow thread and become this yellow thread and there is an arc of motion. Okay, right. So that's what this side view is carefully come over here. So this capital A, as I said, not only moves in an arc, but also has a vertical displacement. Okay, right. Then if that angle made by the thread, it's different from the angle made by the rod with its old self, right. So this is the new position of the thread. Maybe I should manage that by putting the dotted line to impress you. So you could see that is the dotted line that we are talking about. And this d phi is the angle that is made. So if this is length L, 
and this I drop a perpendicular onto the old position of the thread, then this would be L cos of D5. Right. So with this total as L, this has L cos of D5, you can measure the value of dy. Now here comes the important point. See, I can measure the displacement of capital A to A prime in two planes, one in horizontal plane, another one in the vertical plane. Right. So this this arc length is small L into D5. Can you see this white arc length is small L into D5, which I say or claim that it is equal to L by two D theta in the horizontal plane. Then you will question me saying how come this one is correct because this point will actually move up also there is a dy also added in displacement to l by 2 d theta to produce this l d phi right i'll come to that okay so this is an approximation that we did why because if i calculate this dy dy is one, one l into one minus cos d phi right i can write this as uh, approximately because sin um, 2 sin square d phi by 2 and for small angle sine of angle is angle itself i'll be able to write this you realize one very important thing that the dy has second order uh, approximation that means it's proportional to angle square whereas this l by 2 d theta is proportional to angle l d phi is an angle right so whatever approximation or correction that it should have here is the second order term so since dy is of the second order the first equation is valid this is very very important even though this l by 2 d theta is in horizontal plane and there will be a vertical displacement added to it to produce this a a prime which i wrote as ld phi i hope this point is very very clear to you then what is the definition of angular velocity of a rod it is the rate at which the angle is rotating right so d theta by dt is the omega given not d phi right that's the angular velocity of the thread thread is different rod is different so the uh, I, what i did is i took this point one now that it is valid I differentiated I, I divided it with dt seconds and then I found out the value of d phi in terms of dt can you see oh, d theta by dt I wrote as omega I brought this dt on that side and then I wrote this number what's the purpose I'll substitute this in two okay right so take this one into this and then write d, dy is equal to entire thing substituted obviously it will be second order right so dt whole square then i realize that dy is not not only displacement vertically of a prime or b prime but also of the center of mass as i argued at the start you would be able to compare that with a half acm in y direction into t square because initially center of mass is at rest i can use for small period that acm is a constant okay so i'm using ut plus half a t square formula okay right so if i go further ahead the comparison of this expression with this formula you can get the value of acm right so simple and you'll get acm is this number now for the horizontal rod on its fbd before you gave the twist each tension would be equal to mg by 2 and mg by 2 balancing the weight so the increment in tension each one of them is delta t and delta t that 2 delta t is responsible for production of this acm in the vertical direction so 2 delta t is equal to m into this acm and therefore increment or increase in tension in each rod or each thread i should say is coming out to be this number it's a beautiful question where you need to be very convinced about how you used the geometrical constraint and this geometrical constraint lies on the fact that this one is proportional to angle square right so otherwise this 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 uh, particular dotted line when it is brought down this arc need not be this arc okay so for large angles this is not valid and all of this is being worked out because he said immediately after that means this at this time and these angles are very very small so this is the value of the final answer okay so i hope you like the solution and it's a convincing one i hope and uh, in case you do want to check out the rest of the pathfinder solutions I have placed this play link uh, playlist link in the description below so please uh, uh, surf through that and you will enjoy them more than 25 videos have been done already in this particular series and you want to check out some other important series like olympiad workout series aits select series resolve series all the links of the playlists are in the description below so you, they will be really worth your time in case you are new already i think i've finished somewhere around 90 videos um, even if i don't upload any videos in the coming two or three days i think if you keep going through them it will definitely take more than a week and each and every video you will get something out of it for sure i'm very very confident so in case you like 
uh, the content that I'm sharing, right? So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and try to spread it across your friends group. And please do comment what do you want next uh, in this and uh, try um, and you need to keep waiting for the uh, requests also a lot of students have already requested so i have a list of videos coming up so i'll do take uh, the requests and it will take maybe after you request one or two weeks to actually come up with this and if it is really interesting i'll take it up immediately okay so uh, try be specific with your comments and enjoy the videos thank you see you in the next one